Hello friends. Today we are going to be reporting this adenium. It is sitting in this pot for almost three years. It needs a change at the pot. I'm going to use this pot. This has holes at the bottom for drainage. Prepare the soil first. This is the indoor potting mix. I'm going to add some perlite also. Add some crushed eggshells also. We can put some stones at the bottom. We can spray the soil with some neem oil also. This will prevent any bugs or insects growing in the soil when we bring the plant indoors. This part of the adenium is called cordex. They store water in this cordex. We are done with the reporting. Now we can top the soil with some pumice and some marbles. Now we can talk few things about the adenium. They like to be in full sun. They can tolerate the hot sun. They like to be in temperature above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are in zone 9 through 11, you can grow them outdoors. But in zones 3 to 9, you have to bring them indoors when the temperature when the outdoor temperature is below 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So during summer time, you can bring your plant outdoors and they will bloom when they are in full sun and when the temperature is above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Number two is about the watering. They like to be watered only when the soil is completely dry. Adeniums are also called desert roses. They normally grow in hot climates. And this is this part is called cordex and the plant stores water in this cordex. I'm going to leave the plant outdoors until at least October 1st. And when the temperature drops, we can bring the plant indoors.